This video shows some features and capabilities of the Next Studio Building Automation Control System. We are holding the focus in this video merely on the usability. If you want to have detailed information for loading and running a project, please watch the basic concept demo video on our homepage. As you can see, we have started the project with a few clicks. The HMI is running now. It shows one floor of a building containing several offices and meeting rooms. The rooms are colored differently to illustrate that we have distributed the control in our example project among three devices. We want to demonstrate how comfortable flexible room resizing can be done and show you the perfect interaction across all device borders. Each room in our HMI contains two operating icons. This one opens the control panel containing the basic control elements to switch on off or dim the light and adjust the room temperature. We have implemented two lighting circuits and the room heating for each segment. It is clearly structured, easy to use and intuitive. Now we want to have a look on the second icon with the wrench symbol. It opens a panel containing the features for the house technician to work with. Here we can control the wall settings. We can set or remove the wall between this room we have currently selected and the next one to the right. The current border settings are shown here. A lying T shows us an active border, a hyphen shows that the border has been removed. The color of the symbol is important too, because a green symbol tells us that the communication to its neighbor segment is intact, whereas a red-gray flashing symbol means no communication to the neighbor segment. More information about this later on. Removing the wall will set the control elements of the segment at the right inactive to show that they are now controlled together with the segment at its left. At the same time the border settings for each lighting circuit and the room heating are individually controllable. For example, we will set the border just for one lighting circuit again. The circuit is now acting the same way as it did before we removed the wall. The other circuit without the border can now be switched on off or dimmed for both segments together and all this with a few mouse clicks. One of two lighting circuits in each room consists of two light sources, which are represented by the light control symbols on the right. We also implemented one instance of the push buttons for each existing push button switch mounted in the room. This makes it easier to indicate at first sight which circuit is meant and it is a necessary preparation if a notion buttons are in use because we will be able to display battery level or signal strength of each button directly in the respective instance. As you can imagine, this will save a lot of time during service and troubleshooting. The two light sources are not to be dimmed or switched on off separately in normal use because they belong to one light band, but nonetheless this feature can be used for service purposes and again it may save a lot of time for troubleshooting. You can do the same with all other segments. We have restricted this demo to show merely lighting and room heating control. But of course, there could be also implemented blind control air condition alarm system or whatever you need. 
Removing a wall will cause the system to assimilate the temperature of those rooms, even across device borders. Once we have unified some segments to one room, it is often necessary to control individual elements separately. For example, we have some rooms in a corner of a building to be unified to one having an external wall in the east and one in the south, so we could control the blinds located in the south independently from those in the east, while all other elements are controlled in unison for maximum comfort. If you clear one of the soft PLCs, you will see that the border symbol of the adjacent segment will show immediately that it is not able to communicate any longer with the device we have just killed. Then we deploy this device anew and the full functionality is recovered again. No matter how large your building is and how much devices you want to use, the whole functionality is just the same for one device or a couple of them. In usability you will notice no difference at all. Using the central light switch we can turn the light on the whole floor off. We have seen now how easy and with how little effort Next Control Engineering software can lead you to get the perfect fit in controlling your special requirements. Thank you for watching this video. We are looking forward to welcoming you on our homepage for another demo project.